A gamma knife radio surgery has pros and cons, and it also has a lot of different risks and benefits compared to observation and compared to traditional surgery. So in this column here, I've just said, look, these are the things I think most patients or loved ones need to take home with them today. Gamma knife radio surgery for an acoustic neuroma is a same day procedure. It is not done in an operating room. It's usually done in a gamma knife suite and people usually leave before lunchtime. So it's same day. In my practice, it's almost always one day, one fraction. It's really a half a day. There's no real bleeding risk, which is nice. So it's sort of bloodless, except for these little injections that can have a little red drop of blood. There's really no bleeding risk as opposed to a traditional operation. There's no need for a ventilator or breathing for people. The way that we do it, we give some numbing medicine, a little oral, like a pill for Valium or an Ativan, and people will get through the frame and the MRI just fine. So there's no risk of creating a pneumonia or needing a ventilator for anybody. And then the other thing that's really nice about Gamma Knife is the facial nerve that controls your smile and your ability to close your eyes almost, you can never say 100%, but there's almost a near 100% facial nerve preservation rate when gamma knife's done correctly. It's not, I'm sure there's been problems with in some practices, knock on wood, I haven't seen it yet, but for the most part, it's the safest thing when you're thinking about facial nerve preservation and a treatment. Now the negatives over here, I think one of the negatives, people like to think that gamma knife's a laser that's going to evaporate or eliminate the tumor, it does not. Gamma knife is meant to control uh, medium to small size vestibular schwannomas or acoustic neuromas and just kill them in their place. There's sometimes a small percentage of them will retract a little bit. You can see some shrinkage, but they usually don't disappear or vanish. So that's, that's a negative if your particular uh, acoustic neuroma actually is pushing on something and that pushing is causing you problems like facial numbness or balance problems or hydrocephalus. If the tumor is actually big enough that it's causing compression of something, gamma knife usually isn't the first option. It could be a backup option. Usually traditional surgery is the only thing that we really can rely on to reduce the overall size of the mass. So that's sort of a disadvantage of radio surgery. Hearing, everybody the hearing that, that causes problems with these vestibular schwannomas are really quality of life problems for a lot of people. Either they're call, causing a ringing or a tinnitus that the, the patients just can't get away from, or patients want their hearing back. The hearing nerve itself is very fragile. It's actually like an extension of brain tissue. So it's very sensitive, very hard for any treatment or observation to preserve. So holding on to hearing or fixing tinnitus oftentimes is very difficult. Um, that said, if you need treatment and you don't need traditional surgery and your hearing is okay, it's just slightly weak, in my practice, gamma knife affords the best chance of holding on to what you have, meaning if your hearing is still quite good at the time of gamma knife, we stand our best chance of preserving it. With no guarantees, it is certainly the most frustrating aspect of the human body is that we can't guarantee hearing preservation with anything that we do. The head frame can cause some forehead swelling that's temporary, or it can cause some swelling within the treatment zone itself. So that's one of the downsides of any radiation treatment, gamma knife included. And there is a recurrence rate that can happen with any, anything we do, but particularly with gamma knife or any other sort of radio surgery, you can have the tumor grow through it. There is a chance over time that the tumor years later could start to regrow again. So that's one of the potential downsides or complications of, uh, of gamma knife. 